Um, hello everyone, today I'm going to share about uh, exoplanets. Um, so this is basically uh, exoplanets means Earth-like planets. So our Earth uh, belongs into a solar system and uh, other than solar system, say like uh, similar like effect is available anywhere in our Milky Way galaxy or any other Andromeda M21 IC10101 galaxies which is the largest uh, galaxy in our universe so in those uh, places uh, if we have uh, yet like experiences like our solar system our sun is the primary star in our solar system likewise in our galaxies like uh, more than a nearly more nearly 1 billion uh, 1 billion uh, stars out there each stars have kind of a solar solar system surrounded by the other uh, planets like our uh, saturn and uh, earth and then mars we have venus so these are like a solar system the primary star is the one which has been surrounded by these planets and earth is a habitual zone for those uh, for those uh, solar system so say other than that solar system which is having uh, other places other than the solar system wherever it is in our universe that is called an exoplanets so exoplanets means these are earth like planets so initially kepler telescope is uh, sent for the mission to identify the exoplanets uh, and nearly uh, 3000 plus planets it's identified now now they send uh, James Webb Telescope JWST in short form as uh, keep identifying this is also one of the mission to identify exoplanets as with a very much accurate uh, information it's like previously we don't uh, have a very accurate one how they identify those as an exoplanet is like a distance between the primary star system and then at like a distance why why a, why a light intensity range called flex flex values so based on the flux value, say like uh, if the earth is moving around the sun, it, there will be like a black dot, a black spot uh, as it travels to the certain time limit. So that uh, that that if there is an intensity of the light is being dropped out a uh, certain time, tra time travel. So based on the movement of the uh, object, uh, uh, they can able to calculate the distance via the light intensity range that is called an effect flux that's how the uh, exoplanets has been identified via this uh, um, Kepler telescope and uh, and then the information from the signals they identified like where the drop of uh, flux range is uh, happening and then the where uh, the based on the flexes flux range light intensity they keep capturing the information they have the plotted like a list of table and then they have a planets uh, they, they have a exoplanet or not classification information in that where the data set so that's how the Kepler data set is working and gender what is the advanced uh, JWST is doing is to pick uh, very particular uh, particular information it's not not only like uh, light intensity but also it is capable of uh, um, uh, able to capture the atmosphere which is very long distance light very long distant light is away from earth which you think like JWST sent for the mission to what will have what happened before the big band so that is like a very very mysterious cuisine so that is what they are uh, identifying as scientific research so this is capable of uh, uh, able to capture the information which is 13.4 billion light years from away uh, information so this is kind of a um, observation they keep doing it and then uh, exoplanet they can able to because it's it's, it's covering around more than uh, 13 by 4 billion light years previously nasa identified with the hubble hubble telescope is, is a co cosmic wave background so what there is like beyond the cosmic wave background the where that big bang happened from the big bang to cosmic wave background what is the light intensity light uh, fluctuations is happening and then what is the uh, calculation they are doing it that's what uh, it is capable of uh, james Webb james Webb telescope 
and uh, then this is like uh, <coughs> using this uh, using that telescope if earth like plants uh, then they can able to keep uh, checking the atmosphere atmospheric um, density and uh, chemical composition of the particular plan earth like planets and then they can able to understand whether the water is available whether the plant or any other um, uh, uh, habitual being is available in the earth like planets so that much level of uh, in depth uh, uh, possibilities they are identifying with this uh, james Webb telescope and thank you for watching that's uh, exoplanet related information